Well, hello. We can't work like this. I'm being blinded. These are what not is, good. Uh, what light? We need more light. We need as much light as we could get. Hi, Tucker. Tucker the Wonder Boy. He's down there, there again. He's down there again? He didn't say much. Oh, Tucker. Um, uh, am I there opening he is. this? Doing what he does best. Am I opening this? Yeah, we're opening this. Just got it today. Do you even know what it is? It's a Fragili. I get a lot of those here. Yeah, we get a lot of those. There's a lot of Fragili's boxes. Yeah. I do believe that's a I wonder what country pill. they're made in. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I got a six pill Fragili again here today. <laughs> uh, I don't uh, know about it. What happened to the lighting in there? It looks weird. I don't know. There is none because it gets dark at 2 in the afternoon now. Oh, is that what it is? My skylights are blacked out because there's no light. Something ain't right. What, man? I think it's you. You're just getting old. Well, that could be. I am blind at this point, <laughs> stage of the game. <laughs> It should have figured it out. Okay. Oh, no. Please, people, when you send me stuff with these peanuts, warn me on the outside of the oh, box. Oh, no, peanuts. Uh, yeah, put a warning on the box. Um, How's it going? Can you help? <laughs> <laughs> oh, bubbles. Copy things all over. Okay. What do you think this is? 16 pill? 16 pill. Mobile box. You think so? It looks kind of. Oh yeah, this is it. Is it the fat boy? I believe it is. Yeah, makes sense. It's ICA case size. Right. Okay. okay. Let's see if we can get this old hand in sanity. Well, now right now we're it's, you know it's election you know it's the election so. Yeah, you think everything would drop down. for the first for the next four weeks and then go right back up. Right. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty. Well, in case you didn't know, it says out here, it says in there. Yeah, that's smart putting it on the top mm -hmm. like that, actually. Unless it says to a knee. <laughs> I don't know. What can I say? Okay, so uh, kind of plug he's got. Oh, he's got. Uh, oh, very nice. Very, very interesting. It goes right on the battery, so direction, right? <laughs> yeah very nice very nice very movie. interesting on the heat sink this thing is very light oh really right. very light but i think we're good I think well we're you know good. there's a heat sheet heat sink shortage these days say that oh, fast wow. three times yeah i see what you're saying that's but that's what the, how they make them now it's an ICA case. Yeah. Yeah, case i mean right? it works it doesn't blow up i mean what's you know no, as long as the fanage is good you know right you see this uh, that's a screwdriver. No, no, no. See this? That's a screwdriver. $17 at Walmart. Is that good or bad? Three cards of eggs. It's cheaper than eggs, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Careful now, it's very pretty. Very shiny, very this nice. This thing is nice. It's geared. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's nice and slow. I love it. It's an electric it. screwdriver, not a drill. Fast or what? What? Added resistance on the fan? They must have wanted to slow them down. Down, down. We'll see when we. Um, yeah, there's some heat here. Oh, see here and here. Oh man, he's got some. He's got some uh, burnt resistors there. At least heat it up. Let me look at the tens. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <coughs> I gotta get my eyeballs because I can't see. See here. These are C's. These are probably another two. 100 puff or something like that. I'll have to look at them. But anyways, um, these are all C's. Good, 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 good vibrations. Hmm. Maybe it's just not doing a watch. It's not tuned good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because these coils look, I'm not going to say anything yet. They, they look a little, whatever. Okay, um, because we didn't try it, might be fine. Um, let's, you want to call them? Yes, you 170s. I said 200, it's close enough, you know what I mean? Yeah. Don't give that away, else you, we have to kill somebody. I don't like them up against there, the heat. It, it should at least be pulled up a little bit. Right. 
even if it's like this. They look nice down, right? Right. But there's, you can't get any airflow on them, especially these right. micas. I mean, right. Is it known to burn up? It's funny. For some reason, they don't burn up as easy when they're running along with another one, like <coughs> with these one thousands. Right. <coughs> but right. you still want airflow in there. You know what I mean? These are standing right. up. It's beautiful. Those are hard to see. Those are what? What? Okay. Um, I say nothing yet. I must check everything out. Did you want to call? Yeah. Okay. We'll be back. These guys build nice boxes. I mean, yeah. I mean, not, they, they not, build great boxes. So I, I, I'm not going to say anything because I don't know anything. I'm, I'm, I'm the dumb guy. It looks great. I really like it. I mean, I like, I like everything else on here. Big hammer! What is your secret? <laughs> what are you doing in the secret Doesn't it laboratory? Look organized? Oh, it's that's perfect. perfect. Ship it out. Just like beautiful. I like great. how this goes on the outside. It's kind of a. <laughs> on the outside. <laughs> you know, just put the cover there and what do you think? Yeah, we, we cut a custom hole to fit around that and yeah. then you just put yeah, the I cover on. They can adjust it from the outside. <laughs> just don't do it while you're keyed up. It might be a problem. <laughs> no, I'm retuning. I'm trying. I'm, I, I got this four pill section right here hooked up. You got one four pill section hooked up. One four, ten four, buddy. One four, ten four. Yes, I got this four pill section separate right now. Nice. I started out at a hundred bird. We're a little mm -hmm. unorganized right now, ladies and gentlemen. One hundred birdies. Because we've got my new spectrum analyzer. Oh yeah. Here's the new spectro. Hello, hello, hello. Look how clean that thing is. Perfectly That's a clean. clean. Seven one one radio right there. Cobra twenty nine. Twenty seven oh two. Well, it's almost exactly 025. It's off by such a small amount you can't measure it. But so I added capacitance on the front end, believe it or not. I thought it was might be too much. It had 200. And now it's got 280. Mm. I I changed the 1000s to 330s. I might put them back on just to see if it makes a difference. I uh, pulled the capacitance off the back here, and I ran it direct here, and I'm using this tuning tube to tune it. Um, no, I take that back. There's a one. There's a 150 on there, plus this tuning tube. Okay. Oh, okay. So there's a lot of capacitance going on here. So, but I went. I was doing about a hundred bird. Now it's doing 180 or something like that. That's one four pill section with just a little bit of drive, eight watts. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I think it could do more. It is four pills. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I like I said, I don't have much drive though. I, I might try a different radio. If I turn this up, it'll probably do some watts. It's a, it'll about 200 with with about eight bird audio audio about 200 with with this radio um <clears throat> i think i try to change i'm going to pull this cap off the ground and just run this tube and see if i get more watts out of it okay can you want Tell me what you did, Professor. Well, Professor Peabody. Back in the 30s when I worked in the caves, someone showed me how to do a trick on these 16 pills. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We took and uh, we took our our secret weapon. Yes. Our tuning tube to tune each one of the input output sections to perfection. I now have. Yeah, explain what you mean. Each one of the input and output sections. Well, you got know. your capacitance right here going on the input. Yeah, but what you're saying is you broke it down to four pill sections. Well, what I mean, right? So here's yeah. the four pill section. We're tuning it. Yes. I just assumed you're connecting it to the rest of the video. Oh yeah. Right. So we're tuning this four pill section. So what I did is I put my tuning tube onto this capacitance on the input and adjusted it to see if I needed more or less capacitance. Yeah. We found out we needed more. There was 200 on here, and I got 280 puff on the input of this four pill section. Okay. Then I went back over here and started messing with it. We had 150 back there. We ended up with uh, trying, trying uh, 200, it worked really well. Dropped it down to 180, lost a little bit of wattage, put the 200 back in, then we took this tube, made sure it was hooked up, and we, and we basically tweaked this capacitance 
from here to the output section of this relay. Right. So we tuned the input and tuned the output of this four pill section. We took the 1000s off, put, put 330s on here. We took the 170s off of these large transformers. All right. And um, you wanna see what it'll do? And now what was it doing before? It was doing, when I first turned it on, I was doing 100 watts. That four pill section. With just my radio going into it. Okay. Once I tuned it and I knew the watts were going in and I knew the watts were going out, mm -hmm. it was doing about 200, 220 watts with just my radio going into it. Okay. And then we decided to put about 120 watts into the four pill section just to see what it would do. Mm -hmm. Would you like to see? Yes. Okay. This is a thousand watt sluggo. Okay. Yeah. It's on our, it's peak, I'm turning it off. It's on RMS watts. Sorry about that. I, we gotta, we gotta figure out what you something up. Put something underneath there, you know what i uh, We just hooked all this up because we got the new spectrum analyzer. So, we gotta hook up a line section. We gotta hook up the line section and all that. But anyways, so now we're gonna be putting about 100, 120 watts into this four pill section just to see if it takes the watts and if it goes out and it amplifies correctly. Let's, wanna well, see what it'll do? Can I see the, the driver watts first? No. So you turn that off. It's against the law. And that's on. Um, you okay. wish. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what you got. Hello radio, hello radio, hello radio, hello radio, hello radio. It's 100 watts right there, 100 watts, 100 oh. watts right there. 100 watts. 100 Perfect. bird watts. Okay. RMS, no peak. Something wrong with that refill. Okay. We like anyway. We're gonna turn the box on, you ready? Hello radio, hello radio, hello radio, hello radio, hello. You're looking at 600 mm. bird watts out of this four pill section. Dear Lord. Do you think it's tuned? You can actually hear me talking through this box. Yeah, I heard it buzzing. Hello radio, hello radio, 22 got down, got down. And it's staying cool too. Yeah, that, yeah, that means it's so working. So everything's going in and everything's going back out. Right. It's working properly. So we're gonna do the same thing to this four pill section, this four pill section, this four pill section. And then this thing should be doing some, some pretty good watts. We'll end up, we'll end up tuning the input uh, splitter, yeah, and the output combiner, yeah, section. We'll end up tuning those separately. Um, but it should do what it's supposed to do. These boxes are made to do eighteen hundred to twenty one hundred bird watts all day long. Yeah, if you push them, they'll do more. If you run them normal. 15, 1600 watts. We like to run them about 18 to 2100 bird watts and peak between like 35, 3700. Yeah. That's what we like to see. You can always push your crap. This is this is C box, C right. pills. Right. You know, we're just running uh, our, our 14 and a half volts, okay? If you put more volts into it, obviously it'll do some more watts. Not a lot more watts. It's not worth it because you end up blowing it up maybe. But um, this box should do what it's supposed to do when we're done. Right now, it's looking good. It's looking real good. We're on the right track. We're on the track of love. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gone. She's having fun, man. She's checking the the the, the we started of these capacitors. Yeah, we started them young around here. She's she's testing the How many the puffs capacitor. is that capacitor? A hundred puff or things. <laughs> you got poo poo butt and you're sitting on Grampy. You got poo poo on my little. Turn every knob. It should all be working really good when you're done. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of sharp objects and dangerous tools and electricity. It's great up here, huh? Yeah. Look at that. Is that cool? You never saw that before. Watch. Say hi. Watch over there. Tell her to say something. Say hello. hello. Yay! <laughs> Thanks for checking my radio with the Spectrum Analyzer. Oh. Say, I got down. <laughs> so that's the skull man. It's skull man. It's skull man. We're going skull. What are we doing today? Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, we just got finished putting this this little this Fat Boy Productions 16 pill. It's all HG2879Cs. We just retuned it because it wasn't doing the watts. I don't know who was in it before. But anyway, so I changed the input capacitance. I changed the capacitance on the... Did you add this? 
Yes. You added a tube of love? I didn't get there yet. Oh. But it is a tube of love. Oh, okay. Yes. Because we love how it makes it talk. <laughs> so I put the, I changed the input capacitance. I changed the capacitance on the small transformers, all of them. Um, these had an extra 170 on them. I took them off. Now we just have 1,000s. Um, I changed all the resistors here just so they all match. All the resistors on the input and output. Combiner and splitter. I changed the the capacitance on the input side on both, you know, the whole thing. So here's that. I changed the capacitance on the output of the four pill sections. I changed both of the coils. Um, I changed uh, the tuning on the input, the tuning on the input tuning on the output. Uh, we put a little piece on here to protect this in case it rolls down. Yeah. Just to be safe, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I put a new king circuit in it. I just thought it was acting up, so I just, to be safe, I changed the king circuit. Okay. Back in the 30s, when I used to use pieces of wire like this, and then, so you see this in here? You see the, the tie, the zip tie going around here, right here? Yes. Okay. So back in the 30s, what I used to do is I used to take this and put it down like uh, one on either side. Yeah. You probably can't see me right now because I can't see you. But I'll put one on either side and then I would strap this down. See it here? Yes. So this is wrapped around the tie tie down and soldered down to the board. Right. But the thing is, this splitter and this combiner, okay, they're right on the board. Mm. There's no, there's nothing underneath them to, to, to create a barrier like a, you know. Well, so that you, one does now. Well, I put this in here. I put this plate in here. See, we're going to take a piece of phenolic board. See it? Yeah. And we're going to put it underneath this way, copper down, so that we don't have any chances of anything arcing. Right. Or, or transferring power or, you know. Or resonating or resonating or whatever, or whatever. Or so or... so once i get that off of here i'm going to lift this up slide that underneath there and then i'll feel better <laughs> right well i'll feel better that i know i won't have that issue usually it won't happen on the splitter because it's low power right right but on the combiner it's a lot of juice going through this thing okay and i don't like that it was right on the board doesn't mean it's not right doesn't mean that you know when they built this it wasn't working but that's me and I feel better putting that barrier between the combiner and the copper ground on the board. This, this, this brings, there's a lot of RF going through this. Right. A lot. Okay. Uh, like all of it. <laughs> right. You know? And then output combiner, yeah. Right. The RF is going through here. So, and these are metallic, you know, these right. chokes. Right. Um, and so for that to, you know, be not separated in some way by some grounding shield or whatever. Um, I don't know. I just feel better with it in there. So I'm going to do it on this side too. We did it on this side. We're going to do it on the in input side or combiner. I mean splitter. And uh, that way we feel, feel good. <laughs> you got to feel good. Yeah. No. I feel good. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, so yeah, what else can I tell you? Okay, why, that was a very good talk. Why are we still working on this box, and why are you doing that? Well, when we put a lot of juice into the box, that's when it started acting up. What kind of juice? More drive. When we put the proper driver in front of the it. The proper drive and maybe some more power supply. Yeah. Some Actually, more last time we did it in the vehicle, right? Yeah. So we had more amperage to drive this box properly. That's when we had some problems. Before that on the bench, I was running 200 amp power supply. Right. Really not a problem. Hitting it with a three pill. Right. Now we put a lot more drive in it and it was doing, wanted to do more watts. I'm having a feeling that I, when I went to go through this combiner, you might have had some kind of arcing or an RF problem between this combiner and the board. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why do I say that? I have no idea why I'm saying that. <laughs> well, it blew two pills. Oh, that's why. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as we put the right drive into it, and we tried to get more watts out of it, and we had the right amps to run it, it popped two pills. And I mean on one half of a key. And so, something art. So I'm thinking, is it the brass tuning tube? Is right. it the capacitance? But you know what? It was working really good on the bench. Yep. yep. I mean, it was working phenomenal. Yep. It wasn't even heating up. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it was like something like that. So this is my thought. 
Right. That we're going to do this. We're going to put these phenolic boards in there, and then we're going to retune, and we're going to give it another shot. Because from what I understand, this box had a problem since day one. You, well, I don't know if you call it a problem. It only did the watts that it did, which was 2,000 peak with a 5-pill into it on 14.5. That's a problem. Right. Yeah, 16 pill. But it worked. It didn't blow up, I don't think. It just did. It right. just wouldn't do watts. He might, have, he might have driven it lightly, too. We have a tendency to, uh, let's say, uh, test them. <laughs> well, I don't know what kind of radio he's running, but he's running a two driving, uh, one driving. Like four. a five pill? Yeah, five pill into it. Yeah, I don't know, but we're going to find out. This may not be it, you know what I mean? But I like to do this just to be safe. Yeah. You know, on all the boxes I build now, I do put the phenolic board like this, the copper down. And I put them underneath there so I don't have to worry. Right. right. So that's just a thought, you know, just to throw it out there. And uh, we'll give it another try. And other than that, I mean, everything else is good. We checked all the capacitors. Everything seems to be A-OK. -okay. So let's try it. OK. All right, then. OK. I pulled out this other hold down. Unsoldered this one coax so I can lift it up. Let's see if I can slide this phenolic copper side down in here. Or I'll see if something else is in my way. You know what I'm saying? Bada boom, bada bang. Perfect. Perfect. Absolutely perfecto. Okay. So we got that in place. I'll maybe put a little, little hot glue. Get this coax back down. And that'll help hold it down, too, actually, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then we'll be set. Oh, I see what's going on here. Yeah, I might have to do a little razzle-dazzle on this one here. But... Oh, 22. Can I help you? Why is there a pill out of this box again? This four-pill section was heating up. Yes. And I looked very closely, and I reached down here where the transformers are split. See right there? Yeah. And and this was in there. Dear God. A piece of wire. And it was soldered on there. Soldered on there? I mean, I had to pull it off. What? What do you mean? How's, how does a little wire get soldered on a transformer? Yes. Okay. So, who knows? You know, you're working here, and stuff blows around, gets in there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I will. I just pulled that piece of wire out. We're going to put this pill back in because it's good. We wanted to check it and see if it actually made a difference. Dang. I don't know if it's going to, but guess what? We're going to find out in a minute. Because we were just testing this box, and it was heating up over here. We had to. We had this. You have more on. pills? We had the little heat gun on. We were checking. Yes, sir. Do I you want to put one. a new one in there? Yes. Okay, we're going to put a new one in there. We're not going to mess around. Hopefully there's nobody's amp in that box. My fans. Nala, I did pay much money. Stop. My snacks. I can't do that anymore. It's going to be snacks. What goes in my fans? Out here in Cape Canaveral, getting ready for the takeoff. We got the turbines winding up, getting ready to take off to the moon. You don't see us every day. Huh? got to keep her cool while you're testing, man. Right on, brother. These seas yeah. like to run hot. These seas run too hot for me. But you know what? More fanage. More fanage. Just more fanage. Wow. Thing is drawn down. One, 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 one. Put it on peak in a thousand watt. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. You gotta put a five in there, huh? Yeah. Five thousand. Five thousand watts struggle.
Pill, not a five pill. Right. Three pill with only 200 amps. We need a five pill with 400 amps. Oh, the radio is going on. The clown with a big red nose. Ooh. That's on a dummy load. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Okay. So, feeling good. Between putting these phenolic boards underneath the splitter and, and the combiner. Yeah. To reduce any chance of any arcing or RF traveling from the combiner down through the ground, so, and over here also, uh, retuning the the output with the brass tuning tube, um, making a new three-place coil here, adding our capacitance over here instead of off to the side. I like the capacitance right there. Change the pill just to be sure. It was working, but you know what I mean? Yeah, it was hot. Running hot. It was running hot. I had found a piece of wire that was stuck between in this area when that slotted. Right. It was it was stuck in there. Yeah, that was crazy. So I pulled that wire out and there was some smoking going on when we first see that, remember? Yeah. And now the smoking stopped. Right. <laughs> I okay. mean sometimes <laughs> It's funny. Sometimes we want smoke. Right. Other times you really don't want smoke. Right. So the smoking stopped. The resistors are staying cool. The combiner resistors are staying cool. The wattage looks better. Let's see. One more time. One, 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 one. Yeah. So like 24, 2500 peak. 2500 peak. And I just don't have the juice to run it or the drive really. So I think, put it on the low side. We have a, we have a low side. <laughs> See, that's our low side. But, um, but I think we should give it a try because it was doing weird stuff. You know what I'm saying? This yeah. box was a problem since the beginning. Yeah. Right? And when you have a box that's brand new and it's doing weird stuff, right. it's always something odd. Like like that piece of wire that right. got in there or something under a pill or or right. a bad transformer or something weird like that. Right, right. So after going over the box 452 times, mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. think we might have it. We're going to try. As soon as we drop the five pill into this thing in the truck, when you key it down, you're going to know right away. Yeah. Because it should show, like I said, in your truck about fifteen to 1,800 birds swinging forward. Right. It should be able to dead key 2,000, 2,500 all day. Right. That's it. Okay. Another 16 pill bites the dust. We try. Okay. There it is. I don't know if you can see it in there. I'm running the 16 pill in my Tahoe. Push it with a 22 special clown built 5 pill. Right into the Kel Custom Clown modified 16 pill. Fat Boy 16 pill. That's what we're running right about now. Got it in my Tahoe with a couple of sticks. I'm about to drop them all in the world of sound. I got you got no condition. Things working good though. Swinging up to 2,000 birds. Worldwide, 20 East Chicago with no condition getting on down. 8 to 10 watts for flex. Not great, but not bad. I'm reading the mail. Barefoot, 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 go call me 29, my Tahoe. I'm working my barefoot. Today we're going to test the 5 pill, into the 16 pill, the, the fat boy, 16 pill that we just kind of do. Here's a barefoot radio. Let
You should be happy with that guy there. Oh uh, yeah, that's a done deal. I better show up like that all day, all night, and the world sound like I got down. Hey, 542, can you say 28 Chicago? Hello, 542, 28 Chicago, break, break, break. That's your new Chicago break, break, break. Right there, right now, 542, double day wave, 28 Chicago, getting all the way down. I heard somebody say 28 Chicago was smoking, but I didn't get your 28. Who was that calling 28 Chicago? Let's talk about it. Okay, I'll see Right there, right now, Mr. 415 in San Diego. Appreciate the wave, my friend. Gobble, gobble, they wave to you. Break, break, break. No, Dabba, yeah. We already had our gobble, gobble. Hey, Flyboy Radio 70 degrees, man. My blessings around the house. Happy Thanksgiving and all that jazz. Moon Budget Radio 513, Mojave Desert. I got it all that time, 513, Mojave Desert. Hey, 513, I got it all, because you said it all. Low budget radio, 48 Chicago, wave and gone. Just came back to check it. Driver's running ice cold. Little bit of lukewarm air coming out the back. This box is ice cold. These fans, I believe, blow out this way. So I can't feel what's coming out, but I'm sticking my hand in there. And it's like lukewarm in there. Running perfect. Absolutely perfect. I was just talking for five, 10 minutes. Swinging up to 1,900, 2,000 bird. You can't beat that with a stick. This box is 10.8 and straight. I gotta put it on a peak meter. I wanna see what it's doing. I don't have one in here. This thing's 10.8 and straight. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna have a little fun right now. We got ourselves a fat boy, 16 pillow back there we did some work on. And we're gonna do some testing with this bird meter. It's got a 10,000 watt slug in it. Let me give you some light. It's got a 10,000 watt slug in it. And we're in the car, so it's a lot of fun. You know what I'm saying? And we're gonna do some testing. But we're gonna leave this meter on peak because originally it was tested with a peak meter. I believe it was tested with a dozy meter, but we're gonna test it with a bird meter. We're gonna take this Cobra 29. We're gonna run into a five pill. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a clown 28 pill built five pill. It's gonna go into the 16 pill. But first what we're gonna do is we're gonna test just the radio. We're gonna to, want to test just the radio into the 10,000 watts lug to show you how it doesn't even move. Yeah. Okay, okay, so this, there we go. 10,000 watt slug, nobody can see it. Very poor quality, what are you gonna do? Okay, try just the radio. Not surprised, hardly moved if it moved at all. Okay, try the five pill driver. Okay, what are we showing there? Do that one more time. So like 700, I believe. Okay, so what we're doing, we're running that five pill, see the red light? That five pill, that clown bill five pill, running into this 16 pill that we're doing a repair for somebody. Trying to make it do some real watts, ladies and gentle beans. And uh, now we're gonna show you what it does after we did the rebuild. I think when we got it, it did what? About a thousand RMS and about maybe 2,000 peak on a on a dozy meter. Now this is a bird meter. Let's see what this is gonna do. I just saw 4,200 on a worldwide. 
4,000 watts peak. 4,000 watts peak on a bird meter. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, let's take this off a peak. And we're gonna try this just on RMS and see what you get out of it. Um, okay, go ahead and try it. Twenty two hundred bird RMS. It's a bad sixteen pill, man. I don't wanna turn that thing up. I think it'll do three grand off. Okay, you're on the air. Okay, I'm in this uh room in this sixteen pill. Uh, I'm doing a five pill, and I mean, I'm just tickling the five pill, steady key and a hundred, swinging up to about two fifty three hundred. Okay, so we are we're gonna run this seven one seven one one radio. Mm. It's a nice radio. This thing does like what were you showing? Like twelve bird? No, uh, nine. Nine bird on this one? Yeah. That's that's an awesome Cobra twenty nine, by the way. Yeah. That, this thing will run any DC box phenomenal. I mean, that already has driver going into it or has two pills driving eight or something like that. It's perfect. Um, but we're going to run it a little bit and then we're going to see if the 16 pill gets hot. So you got the watts on this side? These are watts, 10,000 watt slug. That's 2,000 watts right there. That's reflective power. Uh, you know, so it's cruising around 10, 15 watts reflective. With everything on. Yeah, everything on. Yeah. When you're doing 4,200 peak. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. Let's talk on this thing a little bit, see if we get any skip or nothing. We want to see if that box warms up. This is a one driving four into the 16 pill fan point box. Worldwide 28, getting all the way down. Look at that thing, swinging up 2200 bird. Worldwide 2800, 2200, 2000 bird watts. I'm talking around 18, 1900 bird all day long. Look at this thing. This thing is smoking in the world of sound. I'm getting all the way down. Now that's RMS watts, man. RMS. That's not peak. Okay, so that thing's gliding. We got that, up. We've got that thing tuned so good. So good. It is so efficient right now. It's just phenomenal. It's working perfectly. Watch the dead key and watch the swing. This thing's swinging on RMS like, like peak meters. Watch this. Worldwide, 28, getting all this swinging like a monkey. Look at this box. Do you think he's going to have fun with this box? I can hear it buzzing back there. I can hear the audio. Look at that thing. Once in a while, swings up over 2,000 bird watts in the world of sound. I want to know if I get any condition. Now I'm going to go check back and see how cold it's running. I'm gone. You're going to check and see if it's getting warm? Yeah. Because you were just running pretty hard right there. Oh, yeah. Foot so the throttle. Most okay. boxes would show some heat. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Let's see how this thing is doing. Luke, not even lukewarm. Like you wouldn't even know. The box itself, ice cold. I got to stick my hand in toward the heat sink to feel a little bit of warmth. That's what I'm talking about. That's a C box, which is just amazing to me because they usually run really hot. Yeah, the 2870 Cs tend for me anyway to run a little warmer. Yeah. And uh, this one is just running absolutely phenomenal. So uh, all the you. tuning I did, I'm going to keep that uh, locked up in a vault. <laughs> That's it. So he's going to have fun with this box because he's got the same driver. He's got the, he's got adequate amps. I think he has a 400 amp power supply, which I'm only running a. Three, 320. 20 alternator. 320 alternator is running both the driver and yes. the box. Yes. This thing is working phenomenal. Well, yes. I hope he has a lot of fun with what it. What I can do for you. What you can do is is just give me a just a just a recap on everything. People are texting me. Everything we did to that box. Uh you know, the thing is, really, I'd like to apologize to the owner. We took longer than we wanted to, obviously, but uh we ran into some complications and uh you had to retune it three times. Well, the bottom line is this. This box had, we had to figure out what was wrong. Yeah. And it was very difficult to find out because what it ended up being was a little piece of wire. Yeah. That was jumping across one of the transformers. You can't, couldn't almost see it. Uh, that was crazy. So uh -huh. those are the kind of things you run into that are just unusual. It's not, it's not a typical, 
blown capacitor or a pill blown or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. A tuning issue or somebody melted something or burned something up and you can see it. Right. No. This was something that was a problem from the very beginning when he owned this. Yeah. You know, we're finding out when you get a box from somebody that they bought new and it never worked right. Right. You're going to have to do some searching, baby. Right. Because right. it's usually something very odd. We yeah. run into them where they had bad transformers or the wrong transformers. Things you'd never think would really go bad on a box. You know what I mean? Uh, electric but, uh, 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 grills on fans that touch the inside of the box. You know, little things like that. You know, but think about it, right? So I'm, I know what the tuning should be, right? So I retuned the entire box. Right. Completely different than the way it was originally tuned, okay? Yeah. And I'm not bashing anybody because I'm a long way from being the person to tell anybody how to build a box, okay? Right. I always tell you guys this, I do this for fun. This is a hobby. I don't do this for a living, you know? Right. I got a job, man. <laughs> we like doing this because we enjoy it. I think the people who watch us understand we like doing this, it's right. fun. Exactly. And we do like to figure out what's going on. We do like to try to figure out, you know, to, to resolve it and say, man, we figured it out, man. Right. we got it. Because right. that this box was tough. Yeah. Well, so think about it, I retuned the entire box, okay? I retuned the caps for the input of four pill section. Yeah. The caps on the small transformers were changed. The caps on the big transformers were altered. The caps on the outside or the uh, the output side of the four pill sections were changed. Um, we had to retune at the at the splitter, and then it had a it had a brass tuner on the on the combiner. So, but we still had to retune it. I had to make different L circuits. The coils were different. It ended up I had a different coil on the on the input than I did on the output. Yeah. And I had to mess with that for hours. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what happened was because this wire was in there that I didn't know. So originally you get the box, it doesn't work right. So you go for the certain things. You look for heat. You find yeah. the heat, then you start checking all those capacitors. You check you check the pills. You know, you check all the normal stuff. So I retune the whole box and then it blows the pill. Yes, yes. Now I want to rip my eyes out of the <laughs> socket because I just retuned the whole box. Yes. I'm thinking, is it me? Did I tune it wrong? Is it is it not right? And so well, here was the weird part, okay? The way that was happening, from day one, we can run the box the way he said it would run. On your bench all day long. Mm -hmm. Thousand watts, swinging, audio, working. We're like, this thing works. Mm -hmm. We put it in my car or we put it in my garage where we had some serious amps and, and the right and drive. drive. yes. Right, and it, would, it blew up. Right, and my ultimate... Uh, what I figured out basically was because that small wire was kind of jumped across the face of that large transformer mm -hmm. is that it took a lot of RF power to yeah. build up right. till it affected it to the point it was keeping the watts down because it was out of whack because of it right and it didn't really affect it till you really put a lot of drive into it, a lot of, and then it just right. it just built all up, and it's like it just blew crap up. Right. It was crazy, man. So it was very hard for me to tune the box because it never worked right. Like right. I'm trying to tune it while yes. it had this little piece of wire in there that I never saw. Yeah. And believe me, I'm down there with like almost a microscope checking everything. I didn't find it till after I blew like pills like twice. Right. Okay, I changed, I said, something is wrong. I focused down on a four pill section. I, just, I know it's here somewhere. Right. And I got down in there basically with my mic, you know, microscope glasses and I saw that stupid piece of wire. Mm -hmm. That and we put, and you also put those. Another thing I did is right? I put phenolic board upside down as, as a, you know, as a pad for um, the underneath the splitter right. and the combiner. Right. I don't like the combiner really the splitter is not too big it's not a lot of after it's enough right but the combiner sitting right on the ground of the board right you know the wires the whole thing i don't like that right i like to have you know that separated with an insulator yeah so i take a piece of phenolic board you probably see it in the video yeah and i cut it out and i put it upside down and so it it can't ground out so we did that that might have been an rf issue there at high at, at like at, at high drive a lot of amps when we're right. driving it and then that with the, getting that piece of wire out there we changed those two things. We pulled pills. We put new, you know, um, um, capacitors where they needed to be. Changed everything, and bam, she took the off. thing took off. We did some final tuning. 
on the input and output, got the tuning on the on the input perfect, you know, and then we just we just tweak the output, and the thing is just working phenomenal, man. It's 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 working phenomenal. I love yeah. it. Yeah, and also I'd like to point out how what helped find that little wire too is if you remember we we were using that uh, heat gun or whatever you call it, it detects heat. Oh and yeah. There was one four pill section that we were running it on the bench and it kept heating up unusually, right? Yes. We yeah. were seeing more heat in that area. Yeah. And that's when you really started digging down in there looking at it. My infrared there. thermometer, I was I was buzzing. I was slowly finding exactly where it was heating up. Right. And I just got down there, you know, plus I was drinking, so I had more patience. No, I was kidding. <laughs> no, I, I, I should have. I wasn't. Yeah, right. It'll make you drink. I, I don't really drink. So, but then I just got down in there, man. I just started looking at that. So I'm like, something's going on something's here. Wrong. Because I told 2-8, and remember I told you, I said, if this doesn't work, I'm pulling this entire four pill section yeah, out. Yep. Everything's coming out. Yeah. And then I... My, my took my little tweezers, boop, man, resolved. So we apologize to the owner for taking so long, but uh, it had a little problem we had to find. It is what it is, man. It took a lot of hours to get it right, but yeah. the thing is, you should be able to fix any box. Right. There's no reason you shouldn't. Right. You just got to figure out what it is. Yeah. But I mean, it, this box is completely retuned, totally different than it was before. Yeah. I won't get into every little detail of every little puffage and every cap, but completely retuned, okay? And it works phenomenal. I'm keeping this tuning that I use. I've never seen anyone use this tuning on a 16 pill with C's, never. And it's I'll tell you what, I'm going to tell you what, it's the coolest running 16 pill C box I've ever seen. It runs phenomenal. I don't know why it's running so cool. Yeah, it's right. It's running great. Another thing we did, they had some resistance on the fans. I don't know why they were running a little slow. We pulled That's it right. out. They're running at full speed. He's got more cooling there. Um, plus, the tuning's perfect now. Um, there's no heat coming from anywhere. You can keep that, keep that thing down all day, man. Just have a lot of fun. And poor. It's ready to rock and roll, baby. Another 16-pill bites to dust. <laughs> we gone now. <laughs>